I made all of these great looking designs for free using artificial intelligence. And you can too. In this video, I've got five completely free AI tools. Let's jump in. AI tool number one is Night Cafe. Night Cafe is really cool and really easy to use. You can see here there's a whole bunch of different styles that you can use and enjoy. Pretty easy to make a design here on Night Cafe. I'm gonna go up here to the top, I'm gonna to click Create. And then from here, I've got a few different options. I'm just gonna do text to image, which is the first option, I'm gonna click it. And then over on the left-hand side, you've got a really easy to use text interface. You're gonna type something into the text. I'm gonna say cat with a top hat. And then I've got styles over here on the left and I can pick a different style that I'd like to use. In this case, I'm gonna use Bon Voyage. I'll click done. And then down at the bottom here, I've got the number of images I can use. So I'm gonna click create now. And there's my design. Now it does take credits, but every day if you sign up for Night Cafe, you'll get an option to add more credits into your balance. It is completely free and the images look fantastic. Free AI tool number two is Leonardo.ai. I love using Leonardo. It says here to create an account. It is easy to use. There's no credit card needed. And then you go up here to launch app on the top right. Once you're logged in, you get to a screen that looks like this. There's a whole lot of art feed happening here. And then on the left-hand side, you've got your credits. And every day you get 150 credits. You'll see mine says resets in 74 minutes. It may take up to an hour. So you've got a little bit of free credits you can use every single day. Pretty easy to use Leonardo AI, but it does have a ton of features. So it can be a little bit overwhelming. I'm gonna go up here to the top right, click create new image. And then you've got a whole bunch of options here along the left hand side. So I do encourage you to play around. It is free to use. So I'm gonna click number of images one. I'm gonna click the image dimensions here. I'm gonna leave it at 512 times 512. And then I'm going to type here into the prompt window, robot dog running through a field. I'm gonna then click the generate button and you can see how many credits it is over on the right hand side. So here's my robot dog running through the field. When I click on it, you can see it looks pretty good. I have the option here now to download the image. If you want to change the style of image, right here is the different engines that are running. And then you've got Leonardo elements right here. And when I click on the elements, you can see totally different styles. So for example, here I'm gonna click glow wave I'll click confirm and now I'll run it again. And now my robot dog running through a field looks radically different. You've got lots of different styles to choose from. I find that the AI for Leonardo is top notch. I absolutely love using it. Lots of different options and pretty easy to use. Free AI tool number three is Kriya. Kriya is a little bit lesser known than some of the other AI apps, but I do like using it and it's really a quite a unique interface here. So once you've signed in for your free account, you're going to go here to the left hand side, which is real time instant AI generation. I'm gonna click generate images. And what I'm gonna get now is this kind of weird looking interface. And so what you're gonna do is on the left hand side, you're gonna see some colors and on the right hand side, you're gonna see your output. Now I'm gonna type into the text box below, cat, and you'll see it instantly updates, wearing a raincoat. And you'll see it just instantly updates. If you change raincoat to something else, it changes it as well. You can update this instantly depending on whatever type of text you want to put in. Now over on the left hand side, there's options to add in shapes. So here's another one, I'm gonna use cityscape. So this gives me sort of a you know generic looking city, but when I add in shapes, so for example, my circle, if I put a circle up here on the top right and I move it, it will change the lighting in the cityscape. It's quite strange and sometimes it's intuitive and sometimes it's not. It really depends on your imagination and I just really like playing around with this because you can get some really cool looking effects simply by moving some shapes around. There's a lot of different features here on the left hand side but you do have to kind of noodle around on them to see what works. It can be a lot of fun and a great way to kill a couple hours too. Free AI tool number four is Dream by Wombo. This is one of my personal favorites just because it's so easy to use. So when you get to your main page here, this is dream.ai, I'm simply gonna click the Create button. That takes you to a very easy to use interface here. There's some premium styles and there's also lots and lots and lots of free styles. So for example, I'm gonna go to HDR, which is a free style. And at the top, I'm gonna type in my prompt, robot holding a sword and shield. I'm gonna click Create. 
and that will give me one free image and then the other ones are premium. I do like Dream by Womble for the quality of the actual design output. The one thing I don't like is if you put in really complex text, it probably won't understand it. So for example, there's kind of a sword here, but not really, and there's not really a shield. So if you're doing something simple, like for example here I've typed in cat driving a car, you're gonna get something pretty close to what you want. Here is a cat inside the car. It's not exactly facing the right way, but hey, he doesn't have a driver's license, but it's pretty close. The thing about Dream by Wombo that I really like is there's a ton of different styles and it's completely free. There's no credits, there's no coming back every day. So you can simply click create and create again and again and it will just simply render new results. So you can have hours and hours of endless fun using Dream by Wombo. Not too shabby. AI tool number five that I like using is Image2Go or IMG2Go.com. It's not the most flashy of interfaces, but it does work pretty good. Up here at the top, you're gonna see all tools. I'm gonna to click on all tools and you'll see there's AI tools now here on the left-hand side. Art generator, blur faces, remove background, upscale image, colorize image. I'm gonna go here to art generator and there's a very basic prompt. So if you don't need a whole lot of bells and whistles, this will work just fine. You've got realistic, anime, and artistic. I'm gonna to go to artistic, and I'm going to type in busy city street, and I'm going to click start. And I will say for a free tool, this actually generates some pretty nice looking artwork. You could easily upscale this now and make a nice fine art print or some sort of great looking artwork for social media, either digitally or for print on demand. Now I will say IMG2Go does use a credit system and it says free trial. When you log in, it'll give you 10 credits that are a free trial. However, if you don't log in, you can still download these images. Here's an example of an image that I've created. I simply right click, I can click save as, and it will save it as a JPEG file. Now in addition to the AI generator, there's a really good upscale tool where you can drop a file right here in the big blue bar and you can upscale it either two times or four times and it is free to use. Another tool that I like to use is the background remover. The remove background feature is very similar. You simply drop a file into the big blue bar here that has a background and it will remove it pretty easily. It does take a while. It's a little bit clunky interface. It's not uh, super intuitive the way the other ones are, but it is free and it does offer some pretty good AI tools here, colorizing, upscaling, removing background, and art generator to name a few. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using AI. It is the future and you can create some really great looking images and have some fun doing it. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your graphic design journey. Thanks a lot for watching.